let us pray a great god we bless your name for this revival hour today we are grateful because we know that you have the power to deliver everyone under any kind of oppression. Whatever the suffering, whatever the affliction, we know that with you all things are possible. We know that many times the devil keeps some people in oppression, in evil attacks, and afflictions because of ignorance as to what to do. We pray that as you open our eyes to see where the problems are coming from, you will also open our eyes of understanding so we will see what the solution is. We thank you because we know you will definitely deliver all your prayers. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. We know that suffering, affliction, coming from Satan, from demons, from evil spirits, it's a reality. Deliverance from the Lord is also something practical, real. Today I'm talking on the steps to full deliverance. It is good for you to know how you can be totally free. Because without that knowledge, other people may pray for you. You might be temporarily delivered, but you will not know how to keep that deliverance and enjoy that deliverance. But if you know the steps to full deliverance, you will be able to get delivered and you will be able to keep that deliverance in your own home or in your own life. Anywhere you are, you can be totally free from all satanic attacks. So some people are ignorant of the devices and the activities of the devil. It is that ignorance that keeps such people under the bondage of Satan for a long time. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That means if we are ignorant of the devices and the activities and all the cunning craftiness of the devil, he will take advantage of us. Today, before I really lead you into the steps for deliverance, let me point to some references of the Bible that will add to what I said last week, what I taught you last week, as to the afflictions and the activities and the suffering from the powers of darkness. Judges chapter 9 from verse 22 when Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubabel might come and their blood be laid upon Abimelech their brother 
which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. And the men of Shechem set leers in wait for him in the top of the mountains, and they robbed all that came along that way by them. And it was told Abimelech. Abimelech is the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord. Olorun si ran emi buburu saarin Abimeleki ati awon okunrin Shetemu ati awon okunrin Shetemu si fi arekereke ba Abimeleki lo ki wa ki wa ti ati ho si awon adorin omo Jerubali ki o le wa ati eje won sori Abimeleki arakunrin won eni ti o pa won ati sori awon okunrin Shetemu awon eni ti o ran lowo lati pa awon arakunrin re awon okunrin Shetemu si yan awon eniyan ti o ba de lori oke gbogbo awon ti n koja lodo won ni won si nja ni ole won si so fun abimeleki here you will see that god permitted a spirit of treachery ni ile ri wi pe olorun gba emi etan laye now this kind of treachery brought division emi disagreement mi... and evil thing into their relationship emi mu buru yi o mu ki won pin ya o mu koja wi pe ohun o ye ra won gbora won ye mo o si mu nkan buru asi arin won the spirit of treachery can come into the midst of a family or into the midst of friends or into the midst of an organization or into the midst of people that were together united loving before and can divide them and scatter them and bring serious misunderstanding that will result in a great loss in their relationship emi mu buru o le wa si arin ebi kan emi mu buru o si le wa si arin awon re o te le wa si arin ebi pelu tabi si arin awon ilu kan ati ekeji ko si mu ipiya de wa si arin won ko mu aigbora eniye ko wa si arin won de bi pe yo pon won ni ya de bi pe yo si tu won ka and this spirit of treachery or spirit of division can be so strong that if the people do not know that this is the work of the devil and take authority over it they will just be saying they don't understand what has happened and their families can be broken their relationships with friends can be broken because of the presence of the activity of the spirit of treachery or the spirit of division emi buburu emi ti o pin ni yayi o le wa si ori ebi kan de bi pe yo pun won ni ya o le wa sori awo re pe de bi pe yo pun won ni ya o le sele si awujo pelu de bi pe won o ti eni mo nkan ti o sele wole ma ga bi pe a o ti e mo nkan to to nfa o a o man to fa sababi nkan yi sugbon emi buburu lo ti wa sibe o si ti fe lati pun won ni ya Number 2 look at 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Eke yiwo Timothy ke yori kini ese keje. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Nitori pe Olorun ko fun wa ni emi beru. Bi ko se ti agbara ati ti ife, ati ti inu ti o yekoro. Here the Bible talks of the spirit of fear. Ni yi Bible so nipa emi eru. There are people that are so fearful, fearful to get into vehicle fearful to live here upstairs fearful to sleep in the night fearful of the crowd fearful of uh, the darkness fearful of almost every kind of thing you can think about and they think I, i don't understand maybe it is just natural maybe it is not um, it's because i'm not exposed it is the spirit of fear that is troubling them and they need deliverance opolopo lo je wi pe eru ma nba won ni gbogbo ewa won ma nberu ati wonu oko won ma nberu lati gbele alaja kan won ma nberu lati se tin ati lati se ton to ba si wa bere pe kini o se oko fa ileyi wa ni awon omo o boya ko ba won lara mu ni boya boya awon ofi ko ra lati kekere ni sugbon lara emi eru lo ba le won won ni lo idande number 3 look at romans chapter 11 verse 8 eketa wo romu ori kokan la ese kejo according as it is written god has given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see ears that they should not hear unto this day gaga bi ati ko pe olorun ti fun won ni emi orun oju ki won ki o ma le woran ati eti ki won ki o ma le gboran titi o video ni oloni there are other people that are troubled with serious sleeping problem anywhere they are they are standing they are sleeping they are sitting they are sleeping they are eating they are sleeping uh, you are talking to them like this they are sleeping they are hearing the word of god they are sleeping any time of the day it is this spirit of slumber that has arrested them and gripped them and set them and put them into complete bondage opolopo awon eyan lo wa lori to je wi pe okay soro won ti won ni o na ni orun sisun 
bi won ba nsoro lowo bayi bi atin soro yi won ma sun bi won ba nje lowo won sun bi won ba lo si lo lori ni ga wa fe ma sun tori pe emi orun emi orun oni e buburu to de won to si fi won sinu igbekun let us look at number 4 and it is uh, in numbers chapter 5 verse 14 ekeni bayi numeri o wa nu numeri ori karun esekeni la numbers chapter 5 verse 14 numeri ori karun esekeni la and the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife and she be defiled or if the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife and she be not defiled ti emi owu ba de si ti o si njowu aya re ti obiri na si di eni ibaje tabi bi emi owu ba de si ti o si njowu aya re sugbon ti o nku di eni ibaje here we also have another kind of spirit called the spirit of Jealousy. Sometimes it is that the wife is not really completely faithful, and this person has the spirit of jealousy, but it becomes so serious to the point that the man will not be at rest. If it's in the office, he'll be thinking about the wife at home, whether the wife has gone this way or that way. If he's uh, in his own room in that same house, he'll be wondering whether the wife has gone this way or that way. And it is possible that wife has been defiled. But in the other case, it says, even when the wife is faithful, when the wife is not defiled, when the wife is even living a clean, holy, righteous life, this spirit of jealousy can still be troubling the husband, troubling the man, that he'll be watching this way, watching that way, as this happened, as that happened, the spirit of jealousy. Ọ̀pọ̀ Number five is what we see in First Kings chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-two. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said. Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Oluwa si we fun kwe ba wo. O si we kwe emi o jade lo. Emi o si di emi e ke ni e nungbo gwa amon wo li re. O won si we kwe i wa o tan. I won si bori kwe lo jade lo ki o si shebe. There are some people that have already got within them the lying spirit. And this lying spirit will give them uh, dreams that do not have any validity. But they will believe it so much. Other people, they will say they are having revelation, and it will be a lie, it will be deceit, and they will believe it so much. And this lying spirit will be directing them to say things, or to think things that are not proper, that are not right. And they will be believing all these things, and basing their lives and their decisions on the lies of the devil. Because the lying spirit has totally taken over their heart and their thinking. Emi eke yi ti o ba ba li awon mi ran ti won ba la alakan alaye alaye ke ni o oro satan lo ti wa won o gba alaye gbo won o si gba gbo dujuduju sugbon alaye ko lese nle awon mi ran pelu to o le je pe iran ni kan ni won ni iran ti won si ni yi won o gba gbo won o juro lori re satan lo si nkan won je lo si mu emi yi wa tori pe emi eke emi eke lo ba le won number 6 is what we find in first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 eke fala dinu timothy kini ori kerin ese kini now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils sugbon emi tenu mo pe ni igba ikeyin awon mi na yo kuro ninu igbagbo mo ma fi esi awon emi tin ton ni je ati eko awon emi esu we read here of seducing spirit you know to seduce is to pull somebody draw somebody entice somebody in a lustful manner that the person may not be able to resist and will just be following that seducer the seducing spirit is able to entice is able to deceive is able to promise many things and is able to put the doctrines of the devil in that person's mind in that person's heart in that person's system 
and the deceit and the uh, seduction is so much that the fellow will just be following as a sheep being led to the slaughter it is seducing spirit worrying that person and you try to convince him you try to read the bible to him you try to show him the truth he says no this is what i believe he will be emphasizing that doctrine of the devil because of the influence of seducing spirit upon him Number seven is First John chapter four verse three. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, even now already is it in the world. There are some people that have the spirit of Antichrist is right here. Not the Antichrist, but the spirit of Antichrist. That everything you do about Christ, they are opposed to it. Even when you do good things, you say good things, you show love to them, you reveal the grace of God to them, the spirit of Antichrist will make them to be putting something negative on the positive things you are saying about Christ. Now I've read to you from the Bible these various kinds of evil spirits. And it is unfortunate that for some people they have quite a number of these evil spirits, evil influences in their lives, controlling them, directing them, and they need deliverance. When somebody has terrible spirit of fear, and at the same time, spirit of slumber, that to hear the word of God or to pray and to be able to get deliverance is almost impossible. Sometimes you find in a single life you find the spirit of jealousy and the lying spirit and the seducing spirit all ganging up to control that person's life, to control that person's uh, thinking and everything within him that uh, he really needs a powerful deliverance. Sometimes, sometimes you'll find a combination of the spirit of division and treachery as well as the spirit of antichrist reigning in a particular family that everything you say about Christ, they just there's a spirit of Antichrist making them to reject everything about Christ. And then the division is terrible in such a family. Don't you know they need deliverance? And so 
as we look at all these things, how can a person be delivered? I told you that I'm talking on steps to full deliverance. Number one, there should be willingness to be delivered. The problem with some people is that they are not even willing. And when you are bringing them to a place like this in our church, where they can be delivered by the power of God, they will be resisting, they will be drawing back, and they do not want to open up that they have these problems in their lives. They love darkness rather than light. They think they have some advantages to stay under the control of of these evil spirits uh, rather than coming to Christ and being totally delivered. Or they have seen some terrifying dreams and they have heard some terrifying voices that if they go to a place where they can be delivered, this may happen, that may happen. Or if they reveal the secrets of the past, that this may happen to them. Because of this, the real willingness to be delivered is not in them. So number one, there should be willingness to be delivered. In John chapter 5 or 6, when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Bijesu tiri ni dubule, tiosi makwe, okwe tioti wadbe, owi funkwe, iwa feke amola radabi. Jesus wanted to know whether he was willing to be delivered. Jesus fema boya kuni yi fela ti jeke amola rada. And so if you have been bothered, if you have been afflicted, if you have been tormented by any of these spirits or what I spoke about last week or what we may still be speaking about in the coming weeks, there must first be in you a willingness, an eager desire, a longing, saying, Oh Lord, I want deliverance, I even want it now. Number two. Prayer to God with necessary confession and renunciation. Praying to God will mean that you believe that God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is greater than Satan, he is greater than all demons, and that what you will get from God is much more beneficial than what you are seeing in the spirit world. Therefore, you pray to God. You make all the confessions you have to make and you renounce all the works of darkness. If there are covenants you have made with powers of darkness or in occultic societies, if there are initiations or ceremonies that you have been led into, you will dig them up, you will confess them before the Lord, and you will dissociate yourself, you will break away from all those things, and then anything that is of the hidden work of darkness, you will renounce them. Number three. If there are some things that you don't eat this because of your membership in that evil society, you don't say this, all the things that you have not been, you have made 
yourself to get into covenant with, you will break all those covenants and you will rely upon the Lord and pray unto God. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. And I have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Number three, you will destroy all materials related to the worship of Satan, all materials related to the covenant with powers of darkness, all materials that you know, whether visible or it is something that you you have you know where they are or something you are buried in the ground you will get them out you will destroy them that is part of your renouncing the works of dishonesty and darkness Acts chapter 19 from verse 18 and 19. Acts chapter 19 from verse 18. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Many of them also, which used curious acts, brought their books together and burnt them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it to be fifty pieces of silver, fifty thousand pieces of silver. Okwa wanti wan bag bo si wa wa wan je wa wan si fi she wan hun ki si she di eni nu a wan tin she isha ki she ni o koi we wan jo wan dana sun wan lo ju bo bo eni yon wan si shiro ye wan wan si ri o je ba me do bo e wan fadaka ele ni o kebe ja bo fadaka. Now that means that all materials, whether they are clothing materials or they are books or their notebooks, or calabash, or anything that has been done for you, or whatever has been under the bed, or what you buried on the ground, all those things connected with the works of darkness, you will destroy them, you will burn them, you will renounce the devil completely. <laughs> Maybe something you tie on your body, maybe a ring you put in the hand, maybe something you put under the bed, maybe something you put in your box, maybe something you put where you are putting money. All those evil things of the past of darkness, you will get them off, you will burn them, you will destroy them. Then you need to have faith in the blood of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. By the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Once he shall go, Nitoria Jay or Dragutana, at Nitoria or Erewan, what was he fell on, and meanwhile, and it did they cool. Last week I spoke much about that blood, the blood of Jesus. You must have faith in the blood of Jesus. Near the Tokoya Molo, Poloka, Coco, that is on a quiet genon, or Bolo, Nig, Bagbo, Nino, a Jay Jesu Christi. Number five, abiding in Christ and abiding in the truth. A carnal, me my. The reason why some people do not enjoy a permanent deliverance is that they do not abide in Christ, they do not abide in the truth. When you abide in Christ, Christ will protect you. 
When you abide in Christ, evil spirits will be running away from you. When you abide in Christ, your prayers will be answered. When you abide in Christ, the promises of God will be yea and amen for you. When you abide in Christ, you are abiding in the light, and all things coming from darkness will not be able to overcome you. When you abide in Christ, you are abiding in the light, and Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Number six, put on the whole armor of God. You see, somebody who wants to keep his deliverance will not be somebody who is spiritually careless and lazy. We are told in Ephesians chapter 6. From verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The whole armor of God that you must put on so that all the wiles of the devil, the strategy of the devil, the cunning craftiness of the devil, the cleverness of the devil, the paths of darkness coming from the devil, you'll be able to overcome. Number seven, fight of the sword of the spirit. Fight of the sword of the spirit. Ephesians chapter six, verse seventeen. Ephesians ori kefa esekata di logun. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. When you really have the word of God and Satan comes this direction, you say it is written and you throw the sword at him, he will flee from you. You see the steps to full deliverance today. You have seen the various, uh, uh, the various things that evil spirits may do in different people's lives. And you can be delivered today. If you will call upon the name of the Lord, if you really have willingness to be delivered, not just that you are praying every Thursday, every Sunday, every Monday, every time, and yet there is no deliverance, you make it a real day of deliverance this very moment. I want you to rise up and you tell God, This is my day of deliverance. Deliverance. All those paths of darkness tormenting and worrying and afflicting, this is my day of deliverance. Let there be a willingness in you to be delivered. If you are willing, you will eat the good of the land. The promises of God will be effective for you if you are willing to be delivered. Talk to the Lord in prayer. The name of Jesus is powerful and will deliver. The power of God will never fail. And the promises of God are yes and amen. Talk to the Lord in prayer right now. Whatever those evil spirits and powers have been doing in your life, stand against them and say you believe on the Lord and you will be delivered. Number two, 
And as you pray, make up your mind you are going to keep that deliverance. Do not be afraid of anything coming from darkness. Believe the Lord, our Lord will never fail. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to pray for you now. But I want to encourage you all to believe in God. The problem with some people is that they do not have faith in God. And except you have to touch them and push them and drag them and mention their names and mention their dreams and mention all the things they have in particular, they will not wake up and believe the Lord. But you believe God right now. Because if you believe in God, you'll be completely, totally delivered. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have seen your word. We are no more in ignorance. It is those who are in ignorance that the devil will take advantage of. He cannot take advantage of us anymore. He cannot afflict us anymore. He cannot overcome us anymore. He cannot oppress us anymore. He cannot afflict us anymore. He cannot keep us in a coffin anymore. Anymore. He cannot drive us to the grave anymore because now we know the truth and the truth will set us free. You have shown us in your word what all these evil spirits and powers of darkness do. And you've given us the authority and the power so that we'll be able to overcome. And you have told us if we are willing to be delivered will be completely delivered. I pray for everyone here right now that that deliverance will come in a definite, real, supernatural way upon everyone here right now in Jesus' name. And all those who have been tormented with these kinds of evil spirits division and loss and jealousy and fear and the spirit of antichrist and seducing spirit and all kinds of affliction I bring them before you now and I pray oh Lord deliver them in Jesus name you powers of darkness that are me tormenting these people I command you now Get out in Jesus' name. All the afflictions you have been causing in their body, all the problems and all the pains and all the sicknesses you have been causing in their bodies and families, I command you, pack all your load and leave them now in Jesus' name. And all the things that they have made as covenants before, I break all that covenant. I destroy all that covenant. And your hold on them will not stand anymore because I have that authority over you and I command you not to remain there anymore in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for all these people that are sick and have a lot of evil things upon them that are being caused directly or indirectly from the devil and demons and evil spirits. Lord, I pray that real, really now you deliver them in Jesus' I plead the blood of Jesus upon them. And I pray, Lord, that you set them free now. 
Free from sickness. Free from attacks. Free from all those mysterious objects in their lives and bodies. Free from all the activities of demonic powers. Lord, I pray set them free now in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone. And I pray, O oh Lord, that that blood will protect them. And I stay put on the whole armor of God. They will stand against every evil power. And all these parts of darkness will not torment or trouble them anymore. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.